BASF has long been committed to sustainability. Since 1994, the company has pledged its commitment to sustainable development and we have set a clear course for our future. By 2050, we aim to achieve net zero CO2 emissions. The bulk of our direct CO2 emissions occur in the production of our base chemicals. Therefore, it is in this area we can make the greatest impact. We are increasing efficiency in our production lines and focusing on the use of renewable energies. Our teams are accelerating the development and use of new CO2-free processes for the production of chemicals. We are fundamentally rethinking the way we manufacture our products and are blazing ahead with a switch to climate-smart processes. In addition, BASF is pioneering the transparency of product carbon footprints for our products. We provide a product carbon footprint calculation from cradle to the factory gate. This clarity enables us to focus our CO2 reduction measures to achieve the greatest reduction in carbon emissions. We can tailor our feedstocks to address the specific needs of our customers, offering them a wide range of options to meet their sustainability goals. Our latest innovation in addition to our sustainability portfolio is Lubranat Zero. This is an MDI-based product that leaves our gates with a zero product carbon footprint. Now, please join us on a tour to learn all about how Lubranat Zero is manufactured. MDA is an aromatic isocyanate and a building block in the production of polyurethane. Polyurethane is used in many applications, such as shoe sole, insulation material or in coatings. MDI is produced under the brand name Lupranat and BASF Antwerp, the second biggest Verbund site of the BASF group, is a major producer of MDA. Insulating is the most efficient way to save energy and reduce costs for living, but imagine that already in the production of the polyurethane itself we could save CO2 emissions. That is what we realized with our new product, Lupranat Zero, which comes without carbon footprint. And in this way, BASF is a pioneer in bringing the first greenhouse gas neutral uh, aromatic isocyanate to the market. Lupranat Zero is the result of both a highly efficient production method and the use of bio-based raw materials. Here at BASF Antwerp, the MDI production process starts with the conversion of benzene into nitrobenzene. Then this nitrobenzene is further hydrogenated to form aniline. In the neighboring plant, they take in this aniline and then they convert it into MDA via condensation. And MDA is then converted into MDI, our end product. This MDI is then shipped to our customers. And actually, thanks to our highly efficient production process and our continuous optimization, the MDI we produce already has a low product carbon footprint. The environmental footprint of Lupernat Zero is calculated using the product carbon footprint or PCF method. This is a certified procedure to account for the emissions of the product from cradle to gate or from raw material until the product leaves the BASF premises. Specifically for Lepronat Zero, the Zero PCF is realized using renewable raw materials and green energy. The renewable raw materials in this case are biobenzene and biomethene, together with uh, raw materials from non-renewable resources. Next, the biomass balance method is used to get a bio-based label for all certified articles. BASF Antwerp is a front-runner within BASF in the journey towards net zero. BASF. We create chemistry.